CP101, and this is another classic rewind, and this is a uh, replica of my brother's uh, Super B that he owned, and I built this, man, I built this a long time ago, way before I had a YouTube channel, uh, way before I even thought of making a YouTube channel, and probably way before there was YouTube, but uh, yeah, I built this many moons ago. And no, that's not my brother standing there. It could be his wife, though, because Cindy, Cindy kind of had that color here back then. But anyway, uh, one day we were talking about our cars that we used to own, uh, our favorite cars we used to own. And one of his favorite cars and one of my favorite cars that he owned was this 69 Super B. So uh, he asked me if I could make a replica of it. I said, yeah, I could do that. So I used the monogram. Uh, Super B kit and I ran across I don't know if it was on eBay or someplace I, I don't remember been too long but I ran across some guy that was making resin copies of the side scoops and the power bulge hood for the um, well they were from the what was an MPC is who made the coronet so I bought them even though I knew it was a different scale because the MPC kit was 124th and or 125th, and the uh, monogram is uh, 124th. So I knew they might be a little too small, but I figured I can get away with the side scoops. But I wasn't too sure if I can get away with the hood. So anyway, I got the resin pieces, and the side scoops were perfect. Um, but the power ball chew didn't fit the body; it was too small. So what I did is I took I cut out the power bulge part and grafted it onto the uh, monogram Super B hood and that's how we got a uh, hood that fit for the uh, monogram Super B and the power bulge hood so that's that but uh, yeah uh, I tried to get this down to every little detail his car had down to the uh, fender mounted turn signals that you see here um, the wheels, I got really lucky on the wheels and got the very same wheels he had on his car. Uh, the, as you can see, it has a red interior like his. The red uh, Super B stripe I made, I took the uh, monogram decal sheet. I think it gave you a black stripe and a white stripe. <clears throat> but I took the black stripe in Paint Shop Pro and changed it over to red. And I printed it back out and on the uh, Duster's decal paper and I put the stripe on. Now, the only thing is, and I just not realized that through all of these years, is that the Super B is going the wrong way. <laughs> I got him facing towards the back when he should be facing towards the front. And I just not realized that after all these years. Oh well. But uh, that's how I got the red stripe on it, like my uh, brother's car. and. Uh, the fender call outs I made, uh, those are, they say, 3D3 4 barrel. That's actually card stock. And the Penta uh, Star on the bottom of the fender that all the Mopars had back then, uh, that's card stock. So we uh, used some card stock on this to get where we needed to be. So that is uh, the Super B. Uh, I think I used just plain old. Tester's uh, white enamel paint and uh, Tester's uh, gloss coat. Uh, the uh, antenna is, um, I don't know, I can't remember what I used on the antenna. I think it's uh, jewelry earring wire actually for the antenna. And um, yeah, that's really about it. Uh, the engine uh, I set up just like his. Um, obviously a 383. Well, actually it's a 440, but I think you're going to be able to tell the difference between a 383 and a 440 in a scale model. But uh, we got the air cleaner, same kind he ran. I got lucky there. Got the val uh, chrome valve covers that he ran on his. I added heater hoses. Um, I added a blower motor because it was missing a blower motor. Didn't have too much if you're familiar with the monogram kits, you know they don't have much detailing on the firewall. And um, that's uh, really about it inside. 
<coughs> the only thing I uh, apparently didn't do was I left this chrome. I don't know why I left the chrome, but I did. But should have painted it silver. Nothing else or black. But anyway, maybe someday I'll get that going to black. But so that is uh, the 383. Pretty cool. Pretty spiffy there. So one day I might have to take some Novus and polish this out because uh, you can't tell on camera. I'm sitting here looking at it, looking at the camera, looking at the car, and I can definitely see that the white is starting to yellow. It's getting some dinge on there, so I'd have to take some Novus too and polish it out and kind of spiff up a little bit. Get it back to a little bit more white instead of uh, dingy white. But uh, that's the Monogram 69 Super B done up as my brother's uh, 3D3 Super B. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is definitely a oldie but goodie, that's for sure. Alright guys, uh, till next video, take care and we will see you uh, then.